added myself with some of the works that I'm currently working on. Um, they're in various stages of completion. Um, and um, I, I work on a lot, of, a lot of paintings at the same time because uh, they, they sometimes take quite a while. So I actually have two stages to my process. One of them is fairly intuitive and sometimes fast, where I'm just kind of reacting. And the second stage is when um, I sort of look at it and try to turn it into a finished work of art. And that process can take a while. In fact, um, I've been asked how long it takes me to paint one of my paintings, because they are quite detailed. Um, let me see if I can bring some of these closer to show you. Um, so some of these come together pretty quickly. Some of these have started maybe 10 years ago. Um, and it might take that long from the time that I started working on something and um, until I'm, I'm at a point that feels finished. I'm just gonna um, just bring some of these closer to show. Um, as you can see, I really love color and um, these, some of these are brand new and it's spring and um, the color is, 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 it's all about the color. <laughs> the water. There you go. So, um, my, my work obviously is um, inspired by nature. Most of what you're seeing is botanical, although some of it is a little more abstract. Um, some of the pieces, the larger pieces on the back. This one, for example, actually, and this one as well, um, are uh, in an earlier phase where I'm still sort of like working out like the large parts of the painting and um, haven't gotten to the detail. Um, for, for tonight's event live stream presentation though, um, I am going to do a couple of uh, faster paintings that to just kind of show my process a little bit. So a lot of times my process is a two-step process where it starts with creating a background and um, the background is just it's color and shapes and whatever and it's just something for me to react to. Um, and then I come back and build on top of that. So um, a really good example of that would be this piece back here, where um, what you're seeing, the, the, the um, objects that are actually what you're seeing here, are um, the really, uh, the background, the background comes through. And, um, and, and this way I create like a very organic and interesting shapes. Um, the same, the same is, happens in quite a few of them. So, um, what I am going to be doing is I am going to set up uh, my area. I'm going to work on on this um, paper. I'm going to actually work on watercolor paper, just because it dries faster and um, it's smoother. So it just makes for a more interesting presentation. And um, so. We're going to um, move the camera closer, and uh, from now on, it's just going to be focused on, on the page, on what I'm going to be doing while I set up. And I will have um, some music playing for you uh, while I'm working, um, because I always do have music playing while I'm working. So it will give kind of a, a pretty good sense of how, how I actually work. And um, sit back, enjoy. Um, it's a process. The first piece of music. Got it? Mm -hmm. The first piece of music is 
by uh, a friend of mine who is an Ipsy resident. His name is Timothy Nolan. And the, the song is called Ch Hush Child. Right. Okay, the song ending is actually my cue 
to move on to the next section. Um, so I'm, I'm going to let this dry a little bit before I do anything else to it. And in the meantime, um, I'm going to, I'm going to start a different drawing for you. And for this one, um, I'm simply going to have my, my boyfriend Norbert uh, strum his guitar to accompany me. Um, So this drawing is going to be more um, just a stream of consciousness um, to some degree dictated by the music I'm hearing and um, whatever just happens, just whatever happens. I'm just, I'm just reacting to um, whatever line I put down. a little bit obsessed with mushrooms lately. <laughs> I think it's coming out in my work. And the funny thing, I didn't really realize I'm going to be doing mushrooms until I started doing mushrooms. Uh, doing, drawing, painting mushrooms. stage of painting I'm really not that concerned with um, making it perfect or really even uh, knowing exactly what it's going to be sometimes it's just about getting something up there to react to kind of like the music is it is that what you're doing just, 
Eventually, I will come back with perhaps a white paint and add in some detail into these areas. Um, I might decide to change something up completely, like in the end, it might not be mushrooms at all. Um, sometimes they're just, it's just the first thing that appears. Usually, when I work, I don't, I don't get to have this visual um, evidence <laughs> of, uh, of of everything, of all the different uh, stages that painting has gone through. So um, that's 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 pretty interesting to see. And uh, when I do finish both of these paintings, I, I will make sure to um, make those available, uh, links available for, for anyone who's interested to see what it actually looks like when it's finished. I do find that I do. I have a lot of re recurring themes in my paintings, which obviously everyone does, every artist does. Um, but also, um, one of the ways in which I talk about my art is that um, I look for patterns in nature that repeat. Um, so, for example, the shape of um, a leaf, the vine. The vines with a on the leaf, or uh, the way branches look, and how it looks a lot like neurons, and it looks like if you're looking at a waterway from a, like a you know river from an aerial view, there's just um, similarities in in these patterns, and they repeat. Um, another pattern that I I use a lot in my work is this this kind of um, I don't know what they are they could be berries they could be eggs um, but they they appear a lot in my work and sometimes it's seasonal so right now um, it being spring and, and I'm, I'm pretty sort of aware of of how everything is waking up um, and I'm seeing I'm seeing um, these shapes in nature, and suddenly they they start appearing more in my in my work. So I think um, is it time for? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll get that one back. So I'm, I'm going to finish up for the next um, eight and a half minutes that are left. I'm going to go back to the first painting. Um, hopefully it's dried a little bit. Um, this one is to be continued. Thank you.
so I'm just, I'm going to be um, painting on top of this using this as sort of the background. And for this part, um, we will be hearing another selection from my friend Timothy Nolan, by permission, of course. Um, and there it starts. <laughs> Enjoy the music. This should take us all the way to the end of my segment. Typically, I'm, uh, my hand is really steady when I'm doing this. Um, something about doing this live. <laughs>